Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'm talking about the movies, of course, the TV shows, documentaries, I don't know, whatever the case may be, whatever is related to Disney in one shape or form, I'll, I'll bring it up somehow, I guess. So anyway, let's just cut to the chase, shall we? This is in regards of Disney making... A move against the the chances guy. Yeah, we're on this again. So of course this has something to do with the don't say gay bill. Even though it's labeled as the printer rights bill or whatever. Anyway, of course the Disney company they didn't want a part of it. They didn't want a war. They didn't okay, if I okay, maybe that's a bit of a strong word. A fight, a battle, whatever. Of this conflict with this governor guy. And yeah, she's one of those nut jobs, of course. That what he want that really wants to attack uh, Disney. So yeah, of course, just because of, of the fact that the Disney Company supports the LGBT plus community. That's it. That's literally all this is. Just because of the fact that they're so continuing to basically, you know, continue to help them out. So. Of course, the CEO, Bob, made a statement criticizing the chances this don't say gay belt legislation, of course. So about uh, a lot of the hundreds of companies, 321 in total, I believe, of other companies that signed a petition from the human rights campaign that broadly concerns this, you know, anti-LGBT plus thing. There's lots of, you know, worry about this kind of thing of course other companies do help the lgbt plus community so there's plenty of companies there's plenty of people over there that pretty much help the, this community and what you're gonna run them out of business too is that what it is yes of course i'm still on this uh, of course but anyway but yeah of course this is something is uh, uh stupid it's really stupid. You know, he, he keeps saying that it, the, the chances guy keeps saying that is in the regards of the uh, the special tax privileges or whatever. He's trying to make some sort of power move, which is something I've previously mentioned before in other videos, obviously. Yeah, it's about politics. When you think about it, it's really about politics. That's all this is, obviously. This, this, this is all that is. But the thing is that... Uh, Florida has hundred has thousands special uh, districts, I guess you can say, which includes one for the villages, a retirement village for the whose residents are all are only conservative voters and whatnot. So, in other words, yes, conservative voters could have special privileges, but he wants to take special privileges away for those who disagree with him. What is this? A dictatorship? That's because it is. It sounds like it. So anyway, of course, when you think about it, don't don't get this twisted. The governor, the chances guy, he isn't some sort of Robin Hood taking money from the rich or whatever and giving it to the poor. And yeah, he's a he's he's a, he's the crook here. No, I'm not saying every politician is a crook. I mean, yes, he's a politician, sure, but he's just this politician trying to use this well-known company as a plot point, so to speak. For his campaign to do what he wants and and the thing is that that's something that disney isn't willing to play which, which of course he is upset about of course obviously the ceo of disney bob made it clear that his company had had uh, other options for its billions of dollars during his uh his company's more recent earnings call of course he didn't say anything uh, out of the ordinary guess that the company uh, w won't do. So, I know that's the whole thing about leaving uh, Florida, of course, and whatnot. So, yeah, it, it, also, it also comes to question, would Disney actually leave the Florida? I know recently I made a video about that kind of a thing, but, of course, it, it could be also up to debate, obviously, when you think about it. Shooting there, shooting there, whatever. And, you know, don't let them win. But and whatnot, but the thing is that this could also affect their business, is basically what I'm getting at. This controversy could negatively affect their business, and it has. 
So it just seems rather odd that this kind of a thing is, is of course. So I guess instead, the Bob CEO, he still could make some sort of investment in Florida in one way or another. Or he could use that money elsewhere, I guess. I guess call it a threat or what have you. But Bob, the CEO of Disney, simply showing the chances that he won't be the one with the, um, uh, I guess he wants to lose, of course, but it was a strong statement from the DC, Disney CEO followed by pushing one mil, a $1 million headquarters project from Florida. The company also canceled millions of workers, highly paid, you know, white collar workers from, from California to Florida. The company then um, followed by uh, that move by having two of its top executives and um, and put in uh, the chances and notice, so to speak, of course. But yeah, this is the type of thing that is still a controversy. I don't even know why. Why is this even still a thing is beyond me. Why does this have to exist? I have no idea. Why does this have to happen? I have no idea. You think the chances guy over here would have just moved on with his life, which he should have. But no, of course, he's going to act like a, as if... He's a victim. He he keeps he he's not getting what he wants. Not not entirely anyway. Maybe to some extent, like I said before. But still, this still keeps going and going and going. This is just hilarious. It's so stupid. Yes, I'm on Disney's side. Whoop de do. But yeah, of course, uh, this could negatively affect the job marketing, of course, obviously. The the conservatives are acting as if that there have been no attack. The conservatives are acting as if they have no choice but to um, to fight back. You are not the victim here. Like at all. You are not the victim here. Though he is acting like he is the victim. Which is weird. But yeah, folks. I just thought I'd do this video to do like another update. I, I, I thought I would have been done by this by now. I thought I would have been moved on with my life by now. I mean, yes, okay. Nobody's pointing a gun to my head to talk about it. Sure. I'm just saying. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this because I thought it, it's it's ridiculous. So I mean, I, I still I still want to um remain enthusiastic. I'm still on Dizzy's side. Yes, of course. Like I said multiple times before, before anyone gets my case, yes, yes, yes. Nobody is above criticism. This includes the Disney company, okay? This includes the LGBT plus community. This includes straight people. This includes everyone. Literally, nobody is above criticism. As long as constructive criticism, then it's A-OK. -okay. No one is above the law, is what I'm getting at. That's all. So don't be thinking I'm picking favorites, even though I'm pretty sure some people out there is going to think I am. But I'm just going to you know, clear the air, so to speak. Now, the, the Disney company did nothing wrong for wanting to help the LGBT plus community. That's perfectly fine. The times have changed. It's not like how it was way back in the 1930s, okay? This is 2023. So times are changing. For better or for worse, it is. I've said that quite a few times already. Holy hell. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. That'll be it for now. So, until next time.